Hello, hello, you solo gamer seventy six. Welcome to the stream, buddy. Hmm. How are you today? We're doing our usual showcase of some microphones. I've actually picked myself something new up as well, which is not a microphone, which I'm actually really liking. Which I'll give you a little sneak peek. It's a a little mouse. I'm doing great, awesome. This is what I like to hear, mate. Right, I think we're 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 good to go. I need to try not to be too long as well because two of my cats are outside. We've got this like chicken pen outside. We've not got chickens. We basically built it to put the cats out there. Because we're a little bit concerned that if we loose them out, they will actually run away and not come back. So we have to kind of keep them caged up outside. Right. My plan for some of these streams as well is, I don't think you've been in them before, gamer, is I used to sh play the reviews of mainly the microphones and kind of anything else we showcased. But Amazon don't take too kindly to that, unfortunately. So I need to have a play around with my OBS and kind of leave me on here talking, but have a little bit of B-roll kind of over here somewhere of my video playing with no audio so i do need to get that sorted which i will get done soon but shall we go through our microphones and maybe a couple of other products as well which you might not have seen to be fair gamer okay first one we might as well start with this one because it's already set up and we're rocking and rolling this is our fine fine k688 you'll see there's a little ticker down here on the screen so as long as my brain can remember, we'll keep changing that so you know which microphone you are listening to. If you're watching us on Amazon, you'll have a little highlighted box around each of the products that we're showing as well. So you'll know exactly what we're talking about. Now, this microphone, it's my go-to microphone. This is what I use all the time. So if you've watched any of my videos within probably the last year, maybe this is what you've been hearing you've been hearing the audio from the fine fine k688 you'll see we've got a nice little green button as well that is to mute the mic now it won't work well it should work now anyway testing testing yeah you can still hear me that's because i'm connected through xlr so my mixing desk is controlling all of this but this microphone allows you to connect through usb as well so xlr or usb what you're listening to now is the xlr connection which is running into my go xlr mini i watched all the newest videos you've been listening to this microphone then mate unless it's another review on a microphone then you've been listening to that one but pretty much if it's not a microphone review this is what you're listening to this bad boy right here now, let me see if I can show you what I'm connected to. Ooh, here we go. Movement on the camera. So, let's move him out of the way. Let's try and get this in focus. So, there is my Go XLR Mini. That is what my microphone is currently plugged into. You'll see we've got some funky lights on there as well. So, I can control the volume level of the microphone from my little mixing desk which basically saves me from going through windows and messing about with random stuff, random settings. I can do it with sliders right here. Now, let me see if I've got the USB hooked up for this. I think I have. Let me swap to USB, which is this right here. So you are listening now to the USB connection. This is what it's going to sound like when you plug it in. It is completely plug and play, so no need for any drivers. You already noticed the Go XLR Mini on the videos. Yeah, apparently it's not being supported anymore. But then I think a third party company or something always going open source so people can create new updates for it. I don't know. It works. Basically it works, so I'm happy. This is USB. I'm going to go back to XLR. Sorry, I couldn't find it in my list on LBS. Yeah, so there was the USB connection. The XLR, because I've got... Let me show you my little equaliser on my software. It would make things a lot easier. So go XLR app. Go to mic. Let's show you this. 
So there is basically my Go XLR. Now, because I'm running through XLR, I can basically manipulate the equalization. I can fine tune this as well. Now, if you're watching this and you think, oh, I'm going to steal those settings, you're more than welcome. But it doesn't mean that it's going to sound great for your voice because we've, we all sound different. Obscure tech will back me up here. Ole, ole. Welcome, dude. You okay? Yeah, so whatever settings I've got here, which I've literally just ripped from YouTube, I've just rolled with those. They might not actually be the best settings for me. So a lot of the microphone stuff, when you're messing about with equalization, you just need to kind of have a listen back and fine tune to your own voice. Busy as hell, but A-OK. -okay. Oh, Matt, I saw you had an interview with the other microphone dude. Whose name I've completely forgotten, but very well known in the YouTube space. <clears throat> Same with USB, but not so loud. Yeah, well, I've got volume controls on this as well, so I can mess about with that. And my... On Windows, if I use a USB microphone, I always have the audio at around 88 out of 100. I find that if I put my volume to 100% on Windows on pretty much any microphone, I start getting crackling and stuff. So I always drop that down. There's a little tip for you right there. If you're struggling with your microphone, have a look at your Windows settings, drop the volume down a little bit, and then start changing the volume on the mic itself, if your microphone does he. Andrew, that's him. That's, that's the dude. Yeah, man. I was well pleased when I saw that, you know. I think I was on my tablet. I was laying in bed. And I saw you appear. And I was like, oh, man, that's quality. That's awesome. Yeah, these... Um, I like his videos, actually. They're awesome. Right, what can I tell you about this microphone? I can tell you that it is currently $72.99. There we are right there. And you've got a 5% off coupon as well. So I'm chatting from... I'm on day one. Yeah, mate, that's awesome. I, I really like that, you know. You know, when you see, like, a YouTuber who's got, like, such a huge audience and they still, like... I'm not saying that you've got a small channel because your channel's awesome. But um, I managed to do, like, a, a podcast with, you know, Nate Black. He used to be on Channel Makers. And, you know, when you think... Oh, like, they've got such a strong following. It's like, why have they even took the time to, like, speak to me? Like, I really appreciate that. I think it's great. So, mate, I was over the moon when I saw he was on your channel. But, like, to be fair, you say you've been chatting since day one. You are best buddies. For that CV soon, I do a small channel. Mate, more, more than happy to. I mean, I don't think I'd be a, a great guest. I'll just talk about random stuff. I mean, I'm, I'm a bit of a weird character, to be honest. I'm more weird offline than what I am online. I try and keep it semi-professional online. I try not to swear, if I can help it. But uh, as soon as I'm off stream, oh, mate. My mouth is horrendous. Hello, Molly. You okay? Molly the cat is jumping on the windowsill. If you're not watching, I'm ridiculous. Yeah, I would be exactly the same. But uh, now if you if you need me, dude, let me know. I'll happily come and help out if I can. Ah, lovely. Right, yeah, I was saying this microphone. $72.99, the recent 5% off as well, which is always a bonus, isn't it? I do love a good deal. Now, as we've mentioned, USB-C, XLR... Works in console, well, I say consoles, it works in your PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. If you've got an Xbox, none of these microphones will work in there, unfortunately. Sorry, Xbox gamers. But if you're on a PlayStation, sweet, works great. Yo, cheapskate, welcome, dude. I love your new room setup, by the way. We still have the old wardrobe. <laughs> Do you know what I've done? The, obviously, this used to be the bedroom. I've now not got a living room. So this is, we basically call it the content creation room. Hardly anything happens in there. The other room that was the living room is now the bedroom. It's got three wardrobes in there. 
So if we ever have guests, there's nowhere to sit unless they're fancy sitting on the bed. <clears throat> Great thing is, small channels have a lot of creativity. Famous channels. Yeah, I've, I've seen some outstanding small channels. I really have. I love personalities. Not big on straight boring information. Mate, I mean, that's the thing. I'm... I'm, I don't think I'm knowledgeable on pretty much anything. I've just got life experience. Not much of that either. But uh, I just find internet scary. Because you can't really say nothing. So I keep quiet. I keep in my own little corner. Doing my dancing on webcam reviews. That's all I do. <clears throat> Right, am I missing anything else on this microphone? You've got audio monitoring as well. So I'll plug in a three and a half mil jack for like earphones and you can monitor the audio. Any of these microphones you see, audio monitoring works perfect on there. There's no delay whatsoever. Hey, <laughs> cancel us, that's it. We're gonna start, we're gonna start a movement. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to start the cancel movement. <laughs> I think I'll get cancelled immediately. I think I'm just of that age, though, where if you abuse me, I can take it. I'll, I'll abuse myself. I mean, look at the state of this. I'm bald. Abuse me all day long. <coughs> so I, I think it's just an age thing. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Yes, one thing to realise with this mic as well is that you don't get a stand with it. So if you do buy this... You're going to need a boom arm or a stand of some sort. Now, it does come with a converter in the box to put it onto a boom arm. But if you need a stand, that is one I recommend. Now, there's all like cat fur and stuff on there. Don't get one with cat fur. Unless you get this one from me. But that is the Samsung MD5. Five eighths of an inch thread on there. And that is a really heavy duty stand. Like if I drop that on my head... I'm going to get knocked unconscious. It's got some serious weight to it. So even if you've got yourself like a quite a flimsy microphone, you need a new stand. Highly recommend one of those. That's awesome. The only reason I'm not using it is because it kind of... I don't know. To be fair, this as well. I, I think I need a microphone. You know, one of those um, shotgun ones where there's like no microphone in front of you. Or use one of those. One of those little beauties. Fine, fine M6. Little wireless microphone. It's great. I thought I just saw some cat fur on there as well, but I might have been mistaken. But you know what? Rather than going straight to another microphone, I'm going to show you my new mouse that I've bought. I have a home Samsung brand with a, a Meteor mic. I don't know what the Meteor mic is. But as far as I'm aware, all the Samsung stuff is, like, good quality. Now, let me move this on my little Amazon carousel. It should be right at the end. Now, this is actually on offer. This is $16.99. $16.99. It is the Artec mouse. Now, I used to have a wireless mouse for my laptop. And it... I had it for years, it was great. It was actually one of these, a TechNet mouse. Now, this is a wired gaming one that I've got. I've got like five buttons on the side so I can pretend that I know what I'm doing if I play any games. What time is it there? The time here, Mr. Wolf, is nearly 10 past five of the evening. Yes, yeah, 10 past five of the evening. Right, let me show you my little mouse that I've got. Do you know what I'm going to do as well? I'm going to go to my little wireless microphone. Because I need to kind of lean over here to this camera. And obviously my audio is not going to be that good if I'm miles away from my microphone. So let me do a switch of Rooney onto my little wireless mic. Now let me put the ticker on so you know what we're talking about. Five hour difference, it is noon here. Oh, dinner time. Best time of the day. Get yourself some food. <coughs> I ordered one of those fine, fine mini wireless things. Recommendation from AliExpress for less than 50. Mad, absolute bargain. 
I love this wireless microphone. It is tremendous. Right, let me knock my exposure up a little bit on my camera. There we are. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, now this is a wireless mouse. It is brilliant. It's really, it feels really nice. Now I'm clicking, let me go back to this camera. I'm clicking the buttons there. So they're not loud, which a lot of these mice are like this one. I'm probably going to turn something off now when I click. So can you hear how clicky that is? Compared to this. No click on it. It's beautiful. Now, we can turn it on on the bottom there. Now, under here, we've actually got... Can you see both of those there? We have got a USB-A connector. USB-A wireless dongle. We also get a USB-C dongle as well. So if you want to start using this on tablets, you can do that. But I don't connect with either of those. Because this little bad boy, if I uh, turn it on, it's also got Bluetooth as well, which it's now looking for. It's probably searching for my laptop. So we have a button here, so we can toggle between the USB-A connection, USB-C, or the Bluetooth, which is the one that I use. So you have a button there to switch between those. You get your two side buttons as well. Get your little scroll wheel, which once again is like pretty much silent. The good old silent mouse. I love it. I really do. On the run again, hit you up. The artist formerly known as Twitter. <laughs> okay, mate. Thank you for stopping by. Very much appreciated. Now, it's got this little thumb rest on the side as well. And... I mean, to be honest, I didn't have any reason to buy this other than I like the look of it and it looked very similar to the... Is it the Logitech mouse? There's a mouse that looks very much like this. The Master MX something. Very similar in design. And this feels brilliant. Also, charges through USB-C on the front as well. And what I like about this is if you use it for two hours a day, you get four months of battery life on the full charge. It's going to take me quite a long time to actually kill the battery on this. You also got the DPI button there as well. So I'll tap that. Your little cursor is going to scroll very rapidly across the screen. And I thought it was worth showing that. I had to pull it out my laptop bag as well to show it. Logitech MX Master, that is the one. That is the one. It looks very similar to that. I'm in the market for a new mouse. My Logitech G203 started acting up. Let's have it in white though. RGB would be a bonus. I looked at the Logitech. I was in Curry's the other day. And I've got a friend who plays Apex. And he swears by the G203. 502, I think it's called. Let me just do a quick search. Do you know, let me go into my Amazon, because I actually put it in my wish list. And I stood there in Curry's for about 30 minutes, just moving this mouse around and like clicking the buttons. Right. The G502 Hero. It's a wired mouse, though. Do you need wireless? Because I said to the wife the other day, like, if this one eventually packs up, which it, it will. This is my second one of these. The first one lasted years. But when this packs up, I think I'm going to go to that Logitech G502 Hero. And in the UK, it's like 34 99 which is, I think it's a fair price, to be honest. I really do. So uh, yeah, I, I need to I need to get on there. I'm I'm slightly tempted to buy it and swap over, but the thing is, is I'll occasionally have a game of like Apex Legends or PUBG, and I'm just used to these buttons now. Although I've got a button which is push to talk, and I keep forgetting which one's my push to talk and which one is basically lay down on the ground. 
So I go to talk to a teammate, and then my character just starts, like, crawling in the grass. What's that cable mesh you have now? This is the TechNet M009. So you can push that down. It's got weights in there. It's got five buttons on the side. It's got your usual buttons there. Uh, these two are just to change the DPI, so you can't use those for anything else. Got your scroll wheel as well. And is there a click on the scroll wheel? Yeah, there's, you can press the scroll wheel down as a button and you can actually move it to one side and it registers as a different button as well. It's, like I say, it's the second one I've, I've had just because it had all those buttons on the side. And for me personally, it's been brilliant. Like, I, I honestly, I don't want to change it. But I was just playing with that Logitech mouse and I was like, yeah, do you know what? I quite like this one. I think it's more to do with the positioning of the buttons. I think because all these are like in a line, it's very easy to like accidentally click the wrong one. Whereas the Logitech one, you've got the two side ones. There's another button on the side, but it's not next to those two. So you, it's obvious what you're clicking. And on the left click there, it's got two extra buttons on the side. So I do, I do quite like the look of it. I really do. And I, I might as well quickly tell you about this microphone you've been listening to as well. Which is the little ticker at the bottom. Now, this is still $29.99. Which, I'll be honest, I think is a bargain. Not as much as a bargain as the £15 you just paid for it. But you'll have to let me know what you think of it when it arrives. Because I think it's great. Was it actually this one you bought as well? The M6. I love it, really do. I absolutely love this mic. It just means I can get up. I can go to the toilet and you can have a listen to me. Sweetie, hello. I'd see you showing today. Okay, so I yeah, I, I'm trying to think what you might not have seen. You, you wouldn't have seen that new mouse I was just showing. That is my new one that I'm using for my laptop when I go to my brother's house. Because I normally use a wired mouse. But I used to use a wireless one, and it broke, and I just had a spare wired one. So I just kind of used that. But I'm liking this. I'm liking how quiet those clicks are. Really nice mouse, really comfortable. I like it. And you can change the DPI as well. So you can basically change how fast it moves around the screen. And that is currently on offer as well in the US. That is $16.99 at the moment. Let me just have a quick look and see if there's a voucher code. Because sometimes you still get voucher codes even though things are on like a deal. Like a limited, only, uh, limited time only deal. So let's have a little look. <gasps> oh, you can as well, you know. Okay, sixteen ninety nine. If I signed in, we could save another twenty percent as well. So you've got a code you can put in, save another twenty percent. Absolute bargain. Very nice. Yeah, so you get two dongles in there. You can connect through USB A or USB C, or you can connect through Bluetooth. So if you've got yourself a laptop with inbuilt Bluetooth, you don't even need to plug dongles in. Just use the inbuilt Bluetooth. And you get, there we are, used for four months per charge. That's based on using it for two hours a day. Now, if you're not using that for two hours a day, your battery is going to last ages. Never need to charge it. So, yeah, I took a one look at that and I thought, Do you know what? That's for me. That is what I need in my life. And I'm pleased I bought it. Cheapskate game. It was the M6. Good decision, mate. I'm very confident that you'll like it. I mean, this is what you're listening to now. Let me let me attach it back to myself. Have a play around as well with where you attach it. I found that if I attach it there, that is the best audio I get if I'm not kind of holding it in my hand. Because I always thought that kind of there or there would be best because it's closer to my mouth. 
But I just think, especially with the beard now, I think that's blocking some of the sound. What's the other mic? Oh, you want to see the other mic? Okay. Um, okay, this, this one right here. Or, actually, let me show you this one. Because this is on offer as well. Now, this is the cheapest one of all of them. So let me go on the old carousel. Let me find it. Okay, currently on offer, $27.99. I'm going to find the listing for you as well. Fine, fine. Uh, which model? A6V is what this one is. Okay, so take a look at this. This is currently at $27.99. You can get different colored versions as well. So there's a blue, there's a pink, there's a white. There's that one that they claim is red, but it looks very pink to me. Unless I'm colorblind. Now, $27.99. Awesome price. I'm going to show you it in a moment. You can have a listen. But what I'm liking on this one is we've got a... Go on, get in focus. We've got a mute button on top, which when you mute this, all the lights go off. So you know immediately if you're muted, because we've got some mics where you've got a mute on top. And if your mic is kind of, let's say, positioned like that, and it's kind of facing away from you and you're live streaming, it's very easy to mute it and forget to unmute it. Whereas because the lights go off, you know you're muted. That's one thing I like on this one. Now, you get the wind filter on front as well. Now, remember, this is all $27.99. It's an awesome price for what you get. You also get the shock mount as well. So, an inbuilt shock mount. You get the stand, which I'll be honest, is quite flimsy. That is basically how you need your stand. It needs to be like that. You can literally fold the legs up, but obviously, you're not standing that up. So you are fixed with that position. Now, what I do like is the volume control. So we can adjust the volume there, which I really like that it's kind of on the bottom of the mic. Very easy to get to. I've got M6 for when I go unboxing table, film, sound me. Yeah, mate, it'll be ideal. It really will be ideal. M6 mic is quality. So let me... Let me change my ticker first to the A6V and let's switch over so you can have a little listen to what it sounds like. And this is it right here. So what you're listening to, just to prove it's this one, I'll tap it. Okay, so fine, fine, A6V. This is $27.99. It's normally $35, which to be honest, is a really good price anyway. So you're going to save more money as it is a limited time deal. Now, the RGB lights, the sequence you'll see in there is what you are stuck with. You can't change those, which I suppose for a cheap microphone, it's kind of understandable. Now, we have got another one where you can change the sequence of the lights. I've got two, actually. I'll show you those. But I think audio quality-wise, for like less than $30, if you've not got a microphone and you're using an inbuilt one on, let's say, a webcam or your laptop, this will just blow it out of the water. It really will. And we, we have Amy, who normally comes into the streams, and she's listened to all of these mics, and this is her favourite one. I think the price might have something to do with this, because it's nice and cheap. But for, like, $27.99, if you've not got a microphone, this is where I think people should probably start. Especially if you're starting any kind of content creation and streaming. And you're not sure if you're kind of going to do it for the long term. You just basically want to try a bit of streaming, see how it goes. I'd start with this. I really would. If the stand does your head in, you think that's too flimsy. Then you can mount it onto that and you don't need any converters. Because that's a 5 eighths of an inch thread. On the uh, the plastic bit on the back screws directly onto there and then you've got yourself a good sounding microphone with a very robust stand as well 
So yeah, that is your A6V, $27.99. That is the cheapest one we've got. Let me just check the other one. Now that is the cheapest. So if you're looking for the cheapest that sounds good, winner, winner, let chicken dinner. This is the one. Now, I don't want to just go microphone, microphone, microphone. I want to show some other things as well. So let me see if my, my Insta webcam is working. Let me just load the software up. Oh, it is as well. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, this is... Do you know what? Let me go back to my microphone because I want to show you this webcam moving around. Okay, we're back on the old wireless microphone. Let me change my ticker. And what you're looking at here is the Insta360 Link webcam. Now, you can get really cheap webcams, which, to be fair, a lot of them do a really good job. This is the best webcam I've personally tried myself. Now, this is pricey. This is $299. But it's got features that a lot of webcams haven't got. There, is this, there we are. There's one of them. So this has got tracking. So I can actually move around as long as I don't knock my bald head out of frame. And it doesn't notice my monitor on top there as well. I can actually walk around the room and the webcam is going to track me. And this is where this M6 microphone comes in really useful. Because it means I can just have myself a walk around, give you a tour of the content studio. So, so there's one of the main features. I need to shave the side of my head as well. Look at this. Horrendous. Now, the image you're looking at there is actually 1080p. Now, this webcam, let me stop my tracking. So you'll notice I've just put my hand up. Basically, I've stopped the tracking now, so I can go anywhere, and the webcam is not going to follow me. Now, you're looking at a 1080p image. This webcam actually does 4K. Let's go to 4K. And... Every time I switch resolutions, my face just... Did you see my face? And it was like... Honestly, any kind of freeze frame, I look absolutely horrendous. Okay, so what you're looking at now is a 4K image. I know this stream is going out at 720, so I'm not entirely sure how much of a difference you can see with image quality. And what you're looking at here is... Let's just get rid of me there you're actually looking at the software that you install for this webcam. So you'll see I've got a couple of presets, which is face, chair, lighting, camera. If I click on these, my camera is going to automatically zoom in to what I've already configured, which is very useful. So if you're streaming and you need a cat camera, you've got your little cat asleep over there, but you think, I don't want to buy an extra camera just for the cat. You can set up your preset positions and go from there to the cat, back to the face. Oh, this is what you're paying for. I like the look of the 4K Elgato cam. Red. Yeah, do you know what? I've, I've had a look and it's just never in stock. Sorry, I'm looking at that camera rather than this one. Yeah, I've been having a look myself. I have looked at the, the older one that they had. But the... The latest one, it's very difficult to get hold of. But yes, I do know which one you're talking about. Now, this webcam as well, if you're doing YouTube Shorts or Instagram Reels and you need a vertical format, you can do it through here. So this option down here, you'll see we've got a 1080 by 1920, if I click on that. The head of the camera rotates itself we don't even need to mess with it. We can film whatever we want like that. Now, oh, let me get rid of my follow thing there. We've got two options down here. So we can actually take a screenshot, basically a snapshot of what the camera can see, or we can record a video. So you can easily record content for social media. Let's go back to our 4K. And here we are. In the top right here, we can actually manually move the head as well. So you can have a look at my desk. You can see my coat glass there, my little mouse. What's that called there? Mouse. 
was going to say a mouse jumper, but that is not right. There is a word for it. There we go. You can look at my little cat bed on the side there. My little ring light. You can see my a tripod I've got there. You can see my screens. You can have a sneak peek of a couple of microphones that I can show you in a moment as well. Now, this has got more, more options as well. So you've just seen the face tracking, which has just tracked me around the room. You do have a whiteboard mode, which I've got a whiteboard over there, but because it's on an angle, it's just not gonna work, unfortunately. But if we've got a whiteboard behind us, let me show you my whiteboard. You'll see that in the four corners up here, you've got these little tracking stickers. So as long as you put those four stickers in the corner of a whiteboard, the camera will detect that and basically focus on the board for you which is really good if you're still doing any kind of like remote teaching and you've got a whiteboard there, you've got to do a presentation. Really good for that. We also get overhead mode, which I need to have it on a tripod to kind of demonstrate that. But if you don't have a tripod, you actually have this desk view mode as well, where the head will tilt at a 45 degree angle, which is like that. So you can see my nice can of coke here, my, my cables, my little cleaning brush which I couldn't see because it was hiding behind my keyboard my little cleaning brush now good thing on this as well is that the focus is rapid so let me okay remote in focus keyboard in focus remote in focus keyboard in focus so it's very snappy so let's go there we are remote in focus I'm in focus remote me very quick now i've i've played with some webcams in the past where focus has been a bit of an issue where it takes sometimes up to like 30 seconds to actually redo the focus you don't have that issue with this one but you wouldn't expect it to be fair with how much it costs you can manually configure iso so we can darken the image we can brighten the image so you can have a little play around if you kind of don't want to be doing that we can enable auto exposure, does everything for us. You can adjust your brightness, contrast, saturation, all that good stuff. And oh, we got zoom as well. Let's, let's see if I can get to do it. So we do an L shape, I move up, zooms in, move down, zooms back out. Once again, good if you're doing any kind of presentation work. We can manually focus. We can enable HDR, but that is only in 1080 mode. And that's probably a barely. I mean, image quality wise for a webcam, it's great. Same with any other webcam though, you will want to half decent lighting on yourself. But there you are, there's your Insta 360 link. Now, I'm looking at Amazon and I can see that my, what they're called, Nano Leaf lights are, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong camera. My Nano Leaf lights are flashing on the screen, so people are actually looking at those. So I think. I'll best show you some nano leaf lights. So, what you can see here, these blue lights here, we've got two different variations of the nano leaf lights. So, let's talk about the. Sorry, I just need to find them on my carousel. Let's go with canvas first, which are these lights here. Now, what I'm liking with these is that I can control these with my Stream Deck. If you've never seen a Stream Deck before, it's basically like a big daddy thing like that with loads of macro buttons. So I can do things like switch my cameras around during the live stream. Or what I can do is actually control my Nano Leaf, nano leaf lights. So I can turn them off. I can turn them back on. I can start changing colours if I want to as well. There we are, have a little play with colours. There we go, beautiful, look at that. Let's go back to light blue. Now, you don't need a stream deck to be able to do that. You can actually control them. There's a touch panel on the first light over there. So you can actually go through colour sequences. Or, 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 you can install the app on your phone as well. Which I have done, which I, I need to find. There we go, Nano Leaf. Let me just fire the 
the old app up. Oh, there's a firmware update as well, which I wasn't aware of. So, canvas. So I can turn the lights off using the app. Now, let's try and get this in shot as well. Let me move that mic out of the way a little bit. So you'll see there that we've actually got the NanoLeaf app and you'll see that we've got loads of different light sequences that we can do. We literally just tap on one of them and there we are, a nice colorful sequence there. You'll notice that here there's a music symbol. That means that every time we speak, the lights will light up. It does the same with music as well. So if we've got any kind of music playing, it basically goes with the beat of the music. Nano Leaf are the best. They are actually really good. I'm well impressed with the lights. So lots of different ones there. We also get touch gestures as well. So these are all touch panels. So what you can do is if I've basically configured it so it all does the same. So if we swipe up, we're going to the next color scene. So basically, if I just swipe on the panels, go to the next color scene. Now, what I want, I'm going to change all these to pair off. Because the ones behind me, especially, my cats rub up against them. Let me just see if I've, if I've changed that for my other lights. Now that's fine, that's line. Pair on, pair off. Yeah, so these lights behind me here, my cats jump on the back of the chair and they brush up against it and they keep turning the lights on and off because, like I said, they're all touch panels. So you can swipe across them and you can, whatever you swipe, so I can swipe up, turn the lights on, I can swipe down to turn them off, swipe them left and right to adjust brightness levels. You can do all that good stuff with these. So I, I do like them, they're, they're great. Oh, yes, what you can do as well is that you can control them with Alexa, Google Assistant, obviously the Stream Deck, which I demonstrated earlier. If you use IFTTT, you can control them with that, and Apple HomeKit. Now, I did set up Amazon Alexa on my phone just to basically do this. Alexa. She's ignoring me. I must have upset her. Alexa, turn off Canvas. Alexa, turn off shapes. Okay. There we are. You can see there, my lights have turned off. Alexa, turn on shapes. Okay. Alexa, turn on canvas. Okay. Oh, she's, she's great, isn't she, Alexa? Look how good she is. So you can configure them so you can basically lay in bed be very lazy. You can be like, Alexa, switch these lights on for us, please. And then when you're ready to go to sleep, Alexa, switch them off. Oh. Let me okay. turn that off. Sorry, I, I actually said Alexa. I, oh, I've just turned my lights off with Alexa. I didn't mean to. Let's turn them back on with a good old stream deck. Let's go back to the blue lights. So, yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of these lights. They're good. Hmm. I do like some Coke Zero as well. Mmm, beautiful. Right, let me see what else I've got. Oh, my headphones are on, on offer as well. Let me just quickly go and grab these headphones. I should have them downstairs because I wear them every day if I go out for walks. Let me go and grab my headphones. Now, this would be a good test for the wireless mic as well because there's going to be quite a bit of distance between them. Downstairs. I can see one of my stray cats are outside as well. I'll have to go and feed him shortly. Actually, let me go and check my cats as well. Baggy is on the roof, which is one of the stray cats. Now, these headphones are what I use pretty much every day. Because I go out walking quite regularly because, I'll be honest, I'm fat. I need to lose weight. So I have to go and do a bit of walking. Now, let me find the listing for these on Amazon. 
Du, 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 du. I can't find them. Bluetooth headphones. Oh, it's because I've, I've put the wrong model in. I've put the, the letters backwards. Okay, so let me show you these. These are these Bluetooth headphones. Oh, let me put me back on the screen as well. There we are. So these are foldable. You get 40 hours of playback with these. Honestly, it's very rare that I charge these up and I go walking every day. And these are $15.88. They're currently on a deal, so you're saving 21%. Bluetooth headphones. I hook them up to my phone. I listen to YouTube as I go wandering around. And they are, for me, very comfortable. We've got some soft padding on the... Oh, what were these called? Somebody said it in the last stream. I forgot. But we also get these buttons here. So we can actually skip tracks. We can adjust the volume up and down. We can actually receive phone calls as well. So they do have an inbuilt microphone as well. They have been really good. Now I feel really weird talking with these on because I can't gauge how late I'm speaking. I imagine I'm still speaking normal level. But yeah, been great. You can adjust them as well. So if you've got a, a huge head, you can put it on your huge head. Oh my life. Yeah, see, that goes below my ears now. I have it on the smallest setting. But they've been good. Now, I've wore these in the gym as well. And I've been doing some Couch to 5K. Haven't been doing the 5K runs. But I've been doing week one where I do some 60 second runs. I wear these when I go and exercise. And they don't fall off my head. Which is something I was a little bit concerned about. I thought, because of me bouncing when I'm running, these would start, like, moving about. No issues whatsoever. They've been awesome. And I'll be honest, if I actually damaged these, I would buy another pair. Really would. They're great. They charge through USB-C as well. And let's see if we can show you here. I'm getting focused. There we are. So we've got a USB-C port there. And you get 40 hours of battery life. Insane battery life. Insane in the membrane. So there's the a little bit of padding there. And I, I'm not quite sure what that material is. It's not like... It's not padding. I don't know what it is. But to be honest, it's been comfortable. I've not had no issues when I've been wearing it. Like, it doesn't hurt me. So, like I say, I would definitely get another set of those. You'll see there's an R on the side as well. So you know which way to have them. So your little controls will be on the left side. I watched a video about the J-Lob, and I think that when you turn the gain on, it gets crunchy and loud. Fine, fine, away is the best. Yeah, I, I'm a big fan of the fine, fine stuff. I really am. Honestly, they should give me a job, fine, fine. I've been using their mics for years now, and the thing is, I, I could have showcased this one microphone. I think I did bring it down on the last stream. And I bought it for a laugh, thinking this is going to sound horrendous. And it actually sounded really good. Because it's just an unusual looking microphone. But I think the reason why I'm not kind of showcasing it is because my cats have chewed the foam filter. There's supposed to be like a foam filter on top of that. But my cats have decided to chew it. But unbelievably good. I might actually put it on one of the streams so you can have a listen. Because I believe you can still get this. I know it went out of stock for a long time. <coughs> oh dear, joking. But I'm pretty certain that it's back in stock now. And you can actually get that. And surprisingly, works great. It really does. I've actually recorded something with that when I went to my brother's. I can't remember what I was filming for, but I definitely used that. Oh, let me see what else I've got. Okay, let me show you another microphone. Okay, so if you don't like RGBs, we've got this little microphone right here. <laughs> Come on, number nine. That's it. It's like when you're at the supermarket. There's been a spillage in aisle five. <laughs> Price check. It's like one of those ones. Okay, this is, this is actually my wife's microphone. 
I did a review on this, which is the Fine Fine. Sorry, I can't get it into position. This is the Fine Fine K678. And I reviewed it, and then the wife stole it. She was like, ooh, I like that. And that was it. I never saw it again. And after this stream, I've actually had to put it in my diary that it's got to be plugged back into her PC because she's got some video calls that she needs to do. So yeah, this, this is the wife's microphone. And this is currently $39.99, which is an unbelievable price for how this sounds. I'm just finding it on my carousel. There we are. Now, on the bottom, we have the little slot for some audio monitoring. We have a slot there where you... There's a converter that comes in the box to allow you to mount it onto boom arms. So that plugs in there. And the connection on this is a mini USB. So it's the older version of USB connection. We have a mute button on the front as well. So red, you're muted. Green, you are unmuted. It's very robust. It weighs quite a bit, to be honest. So it's not something that you're going to drop on the floor and it's going to break. You've got more chance of it damaging your floor tiles. On the back, we have controls for the mic volume and the audio monitoring. You'll notice there that we are... Well, this is max down here. We're pointing that way. We're probably about a quarter of the way around. And this is the loudest mic I've ever known in my life. Now, I've put a compressor on this so I don't peak the microphone. Now, where's my ticker? There we are. Let's flick over so you can have a listen. And this is your Fine Fine K678. Like I say, the wife has stolen. This is now the wife's microphone. It is a condenser mic, which means it's going to pick up a little bit of sound from the back as well. So if you're typing on a keyboard, I'll give you an example, you will most likely hear it. Okay. And I will give you a, a proximity test. So you can have a quick listen. I'll get some white noise on my YouTube. Honestly, this white noise video is getting so many views from me. Okay, let's turn that up a little bit. So you can have a listen to where the audio is coming from. Okay, so your main audio will be the front here. It's going to pick up some sound from the side and it will try and restrict a lot of sound from the back but you will still pick some of it up so hopefully that proximity test kind of gives you a little bit of an idea of what it sounds like all made of metal this microphone seriously well built it really is and i'm going to be gutted that the wife's taking it back tonight because it, it basically lives here lives on the side this is its new home and she's taking it no problem with the muse which i'll show you now Testing, testing, testing. It's Ghoul. Hello, Ghoul. Welcome, buddy. How are you today? So, yeah, this is $39.99. And there it is right there. So, very good price. Once again, it's going to work in your PS4s, PS5s. Won't work in Xboxes. None of these mods work in the Xbox. As far as I'm aware, anyway. But yet, yeah, works in PS4, PS5, works in a Mac, works in a PC. And well built. I think it sounds good. But to be fair, I'm like a broken record. Every one of these mics to me sounds good. But uh, if you do listen to one of these and you're like, Andy, that sounds really scabby, then let me know. I'm happy to, to hear some criticisms of the mics. But so far, I've not had any from anybody. Everybody says, oh, that actually sounds really good. And I think for the price point of these, it's very difficult to like beat fine fine. Ever see those DMs on Instagram? I'm a rep for, well, to give you such a, for photos. That's a scam, isn't it? It sounds very scammy. Well, have you posted some photos? Are these photos of the gig by any chance? Right, now, let me quickly go over our other RGB mic. I've actually got another one down here as well, which, yeah, it's down there, which the cats love chewing as well. 
Okay, so we've shown you one RGB mic where you've got no control over the lights. You do with this one. We have a button on the back there, which we can press and we can toggle between all of these different lights. So we can get it to match our background like that, which obviously if you're streaming for a little bit of consistency, get it matching your lights. Thought so, Miss Gore Felfrey, absolutely fuming. It sounds scammy, mate. <coughs> I mean, it might not be, but yeah, which photos? <laughs> I'm intrigued now, which photos are we talking about? Now, on this microphone as well, there's the button there to control the lights. We've got a little screw here so we can move the head up and down. You get the pop filter on front there. You get the shock mount as well, already built into the microphone. Now this connects through USB-C and we've got some audio monitoring as well. You can mount this onto a boom arm as well. Oh yeah, on the back there, we've got the volume control as well. Turn your microphone up and down. So I think we need to have a very quick listen to what this one sounds like. And this is it right here. This is your Fine Fine A8. I will tap the mic just to show that it's this one. Okay, so this is another nice little RGB number there. Now, this one is more pricey than the $27.99 one we showed earlier. This one is currently $46.99, so it's not quite twice the price. But it, it is a bit of an increase over the, the very cheap one. Now, let me have a quick look. Actually, I can show you here. So... There's some listings there. So this is the one we're you're listening to right now, which is the A8 microphone. And there's the other one, the cheapest one, which is on offer for $27.99 that we showed earlier. But let's go over to the A8. Now you can get a pink version of this and a white version. They will cost you $1 more, but you can save 10% by ticking this little box right there. Same as always, works in PS4s, PS5s, PCs, and your Apple Macs as well. And it's great, you get the stand with this as well. There's a little bit of weight in the stands. It feels more robust than the cheaper mod that we've shown. But it just depends on budget, really, on what you like the looks of. Now, remember on the cheap one, you don't get control over those lights, but you do on this one. Now, this is one of those ones where we've got the mute button. But your RGB lights stay on regardless. Whereas that one, if we mute, the lights go off. They don't on this one. But you can turn these lights off if you want to by holding the button on the back. There we are. The lights have gone. Turn it back on. There we are. But yeah, Gull, tell me more about this story, man, about the photos. What's going on? Tell me what's going on, Gull. Right, now I've got I've got one more mic. Let me go let me go through this quickly and show you this one. Now this is another dynamic microphone, which is the same as this one right here, dynamic mic. Which basically means that it's going to reject quite a lot of the background noise. Read the con confirmation email. Order number of... <coughs> Told her to ring the bank tomorrow time. Being safe just in case. Yeah, mate, it's, it's best to just ring just to kind of cover yourself. But yeah, we don't want nobody being scammed here. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to unplug my XLR cable from this. Because this is actually an XLR USB cable. Sorry, an XLR USB microphone. Sorry, that would be a really good cable if it was XLR and USB. Now, let me give you a quick look at this microphone. So, ignore that this has been chewed the bit. That is the joy of having cats. They've absolutely gnawed this. And I was vacuuming the other day, and my cat was playing with one of the cat toys. Finished vacuuming, I sat on my PC, saw the cat was still playing, so I thought, oh, she's still playing with the toy. She weren't, she was chewing this microphone. Nightmare. 
I swear she's the first person who's ever fell for that. Do you know what? To be honest, Matt, I've, the last place I worked at, there's a lot of people who fall for stuff like that. And a lot of people are like, like how have you fell for that? But it's it's pretty scary, you know, how many people do fall for stuff like that, like dodgy emails. It was rife, happening all the time. After my, my win was from the cat, I have I normally do the same. I've got a draw that I end up putting them in. But they defeated me this time. Went and grabbed it. Now, I can't pull on this too much because my cables are quite taut. Now, we've got a mute button. So, we've got green active, red is muted. We can completely unscrew this. Now, what I do like with this stand as well is you get the stand in the box. But... On the bottom there, you've got both the 3 eighths of an inch and 5 eighths of an inch thread in there. So you don't need a converter. It's basically got the converter already built in. So it should work with pretty much any boom on. You'll see we've got some nice RGBs there. Which we have a button on the back where we can press that. And we can toggle between all the different lights. There is another mode as well where... There we are, where... It, basically does a blended mode between all the lights you got the other mode that goes through each of the static colors one by one or you can just select one of your own let me go back to the blended one there we are we got volume controls for the mic and for the audio monitoring as well and on the bottom a slot for the audio monitoring USB-C and XLR so let's go and give you a little test of this if it's too good to be true, there we go. Those are words to live by. If it's too good to be true, it probably is. I tell you, yeah, mate, that is the way to go. But unfortunately, a lot of people get swayed, don't they? Because they see like a really good deal and like, oh, that's good. I'm going to go for that. And kind of morals go out the window. Logical thinking goes. All right, let me switch over. Okay, you are now listening to the XLR connection on the AM8 microphone. Here comes my cat. Hello, Molly. Now walk out with the keyboard. She's itching to go outside, I think. Yes, this is currently $54.99, which I'll be honest, for the features that you get, once again, a really good price. I actually don't know how fine, fine do these microphones. Because the prices are actually amazingly good for the quality that you get. And you can actually get a coupon as well. So, on there, $54.99, you can save 5%. They've actually just released pink versions and white versions. Now, when I first had this mic, there was literally the black version. But uh, they, look, they look pretty sexy, don't they? I like them. They will cost you $2 more. The black version is cheaper, $54.99, and you can save 5% as well. So this is the XLR connection. Let me go to USB so you can have a listen to that. There we are, and I, I forgot to unmute the microphone. Now, do bear in mind my window settings are on roughly around 88 for the audio of any microphone I plug in here. Like I said earlier, I prefer not to have it on 100 because I normally get like distortion. So I normally control the volume directly on the mic. Now this is maxed out on the mic and 88 on my window settings. And this is what it's going to sound like when you first plug it into your PC, your PS4, PS5 or your Mac. Unless you switch over to the XLR connection. And that will sound something like this. Well, I say like this. Depends on what settings you use on your mixing desk. But this is what it sounds like with my voice. And I think it's a good mic. You do get quite a bit of weight in the stand as well. So I wouldn't be too concerned about knocking it over. Unless you give it a proper whack like. But yes, you can mount it onto boom arms. If you're not happy with that stand, you can mount it onto like that Samson stand that we showed earlier. Oh, my cat's wandered off. She's had enough. She's had enough of the live stream. Well, let me see if there's anything else I can show you. Okay, I will show you my, my fine... I shouldn't work for fine fine. I should. 
I can't help it though. I love their stuff. It's great. Now, I actually won on PUBG last night. And I was wearing these. I was in a squad of four. I had two of my friends from the Netherlands and we had a random person on our team. And we won on PUBG and I was wearing these. And my friend was wearing these as well. He's actually bought these because I've got them. And he's actually very pleased with them as well. Which makes me very happy. I like it when I've got something and then people buy the same as me. And I'm like, do you know what? That's actually really good. And he's done that. Now, we do have an inbuilt microphone on this, which you can just unplug. So you don't need a microphone in there if you don't want one. There is, it only goes in one way as well. There is a little arrow on the... Is that going to go in focus? There's a little arrow on the bottom there. So you know which way to put it in. There we are. Now let's come over to this other camera here. Very soft padding. Always good. We have padding on the top as well. Which for a baldy man like me. Absolute godsend. You've got your L and your R on either side. So you... Well, you could still put them on wrong, but it tells you where to put them on, basically. Now, on the cable, you actually get 7.1 audio with this, which you can disable if you don't want to use it. Push of a button, you've got 7.1 audio. We've got volume controls up and down. That is for the volume of the headphones, not the microphone. The microphone, you can enable and disable on this remote as well. So there's the icon for the microphone. On here, you'll see we've got movie, we have gaming, and we have music. And we've got a little LED light here. And at the push of a button, you can switch between those three modes. Now, the gaming mode is very bassy. So if you're listening to some drum and bass music, I would probably go with gaming mode over the music mode. But that's just my personal preference. So there we are. They fine fine. These are the H6 headphones. They've actually bought out the H9 I've seen as well. I've not tried those. So I can't really comment on those. But I can on these and these are actually really good. Now you can once again get a pink version and a white version. They will cost you $2 more. Black version are cheaper. And again, we'll work in PS5, PS4, PC, and work in your Mac as well. Ping version, Natalie, hello. Matt, I'll be honest, I'm partial to, to a bit of that ping version. I like it. I like the voice as well. I like all of them. But yeah, some 7.1 audio. And I'm praising them up because I won on PUBG last night. So they are my friend today. Natalie, how are you doing? Are we all good? Just seeing if there's anything else that is on offer at the moment. Now I think I've showed you the stuff that is actually on offer at the minute. If you are on Amazon and you can see our carousel, if there's anything in there that you would like to see, then do speak now. And I will happily come and show you any of these products. Natalie is doing good. That's what I like to hear. What you been up to, mate? Anything amazing? I I need to get my cats in from outside. I I've left them outside in the like this chicken pen. As I said earlier, I've not actually got chickens, but we we've got them in there. So I do need to go and grab them. I don't think there's... I'll tell you what, I'll quickly reel off what we've got. And let me know. Bit of stuff. It might be my earphones, mate. Bear with me. Okay, let me know now. Has the static gone? Because I've literally just unplugged my earphones from my Go XLR Mini. Much better. Yeah, it's my earphones. <laughs> It's something to do with the three and a half mil jack on my earphones that causes that. So, it, it, so hopefully the microphone sounds even better now. Sounds good, thank you, sweetie. 
Yeah, I'll have to remember not to have these plugged in, but I tend to leave them plugged in because it plays some background music, which, if I can find my mouse cursor, there we are. Saying that, I think the music's still kind of playing. Yeah, that works out okay. Yeah, so you'll see there, like, look how chewed that is. It's got all cat fur on it. They've absolutely annihilated it. I say they, it's literally my one cat that's chewed the life out of him. I've actually dropped them an email to ask if you can actually purchase these filters separately. Cat approved, Matt, she loves it. Absolutely loves it, sweetie. I haven't been up to anything. Not, uh, not anything out of the ordinary anyway. Yeah, it's a bit like me, mate. It's not... Not really doing anything at the ordinary, just the normal filming, editing, all that good stuff. So yeah, nothing too much happening here at the moment. I was going to quickly go through the stuff. Okay, so I've showed you all the microphones. You've seen the webcam, I've shown you the stand. We've got our reusable fastening cables for some cable management. We've got our couch coaster. We've got our Elgato stream deck. We've got our wireless phone charger. We've got the OXO Good Grips Cleaner. So I've got one of those. Ooh. I've got another one of those little cleaning brushes there. We have my cat grooming brush, which I need to find, actually. I've got my automatic cat feeder. I've got my Ulanzi tripod. I've got my Elgato green screen. I've got my newer light, which is this one here that's kind of blinding me at the moment. Got my pet heating mat. I've got the Sony A6400 camera. We have the Sigma 1.4 lens on there as well. And I showed you my headphones and I showed you my my new little wireless mouse as well. Which I'm a massive fan of. I'm really pleased I bought that. My new webcam arrived last month and while I haven't used it too much due to the small brain, still a very welcome change. Which one did you go for? I think you might have told me. But you know me too well. You know how bad my memory is. Ava Media, that was it. Because I remember saying that I've not actually used any of their stuff. But it's supposed to be really good. Yes. I'll, I'll have to keep an eye out for one of your streams and have a look at the quality on there. But no, it's always good to have some new stuff. I like it. Like that mouse. That mouse. Honestly, it just looks like a plain mouse. But it's nice. And the fact that you can charge it up and get about four months battery life. Awesome. There's some deals on the Provide Scarlet Solo at the moment on Amazon. I picked up the 105 to go on the Solo. It's look for 86. Nice. A lot of people say that's good as well. Those products. Let's, just, let's put you on the stream there. Yeah, I've personally not used any of those. I used the... What was my old mixing desk that I had? Zenix, Zenix 802 USB, I think it was called. My old mixer. I ended up selling it because of having this GoXLR Mini. But that was my second one, actually. I had one that it, it got power just literally stopped working. So I bought a second one to replace it. Then I end up getting the GoXLR Mimo. Probably gonna have to wait until September for that, honestly. I still have like 24 hours total of Voz to edit. Now I'll get those edited, mate. Get it done. Now that's, that, that's good, that is. Like, thinking about your time. Cause it's very easy to like get bogged down and start Doing streaming when you've got other work that needs doing. Nah, it's good, man. I like the way you work. I like the way you move. Right, I don't think we've got nobody from Amazon who are requesting any products for us to show. So I think it's time for me to love you and leave you. I can go and get my cats from outside. I hope it's not... No, weather's lovely out there at the moment. Compared to what it was earlier. Let's turn off my little wireless mic as well. Beautiful, beautiful. So yeah, let's let's go and make a move. Outlast was a pain to edit because the game was so boring. <laughs> I'm going to the 
Very indeed. That's what I had, not the UMC 22. I'll have to Google that actually. Let me. Sorry, I keep losing my mouse cursor over my screens. Right, let me drag a window over here, which has gone to that screen for some reason. Ninja use MC22. Ah, okay. I see it. I see it. Nice. Nice, nice. £54.40 I'm seeing at the moment. Sounds very good. Airlast was meant to be scary, it really wasn't. Got to the point where I just couldn't take it seriously. The, I think the last time I got scared with the game was the first Resident Evil, when we first played there. And you were running down a corridor, and these dogs jumped through the window. Oh, that may be the, um, if I had to say like a more recent game, which is not actually that recent, was the Evil Within. The first one. There's like a kind of ghost thing on there, which I, am, which I suppose was a little bit scary. Right. I think I should let you go on with the rest of your days. And once I get my cats in, I will continue with a little bit of video editing, I think. So, thank you as always, everyone who stopped by. We've got Cheapskate Gaming. Thank you, buddy. Absolute pleasure to have you in the stream. We've got Natalie, as always, absolute pleasure. Absolute pleasure to have Sweetie here as well, my fellow cat lover. We had the UC Cello Gamer, Gamer76. Thank you so much for being in the stream. We had Obscure Tech. At the start as well he had to shoot off but as always very much appreciated you should get oh you should get to editing absolutely correct i will i will crack on with a bit more editing i've got some videos for youtube to do i've got to film something for amazon as well thank you for the stream it was great to catch up with you in person thank you very kind of you hopefully you can understand me as well because I know I speak very quickly, and I've watched some of my streams back, and I don't understand what I'm saying. So if you can understand me, fair play to you. And uh, absolute pleasure. All the best with your YouTube channel as well. Now, I'm pretty sure you've got a cheapskate fishing as well, haven't you? Not that I've not been doing any stalking at all. But now you know I've been doing some stalking. Thank you. Absolute pleasure. Right, I need to get my cats because they're probably going wild. And I will... That is correct. Yeah, see, I've been checking checking those videos out. Super fast as well. When I do voice hours. You can normally catch yourself. Like, I record audio in Audacity. So I can play it back and listen to how quick I'm speaking. And then obviously you just re-record it. When you're live, obviously I'm more natural when I'm live so I imagine I speak very quickly and I probably slur my words a lot I make loads of mistakes but uh, do you know what that's that's just me this is just how I am right I keep saying it I do this at the end of every stream keep saying I'm going then I'll stay here for like another half hour no I'm going I'm going right thank you absolute pleasure and enjoy the rest of your Sundays we will see you 